Hello, supercars in seconds here. Today I've got a fun machine for us. This is one of the more elegant Mercedes-Benz cars ever made, I think. There's a 2017 S550 Cabriolet. Just a beautiful thing. And I, I like the fabric top. It gives us more space in the trunk when the roof is down and keeps that very traditional and elegant look to it. The headlights, of course, these LEDs are very impressive with all the little line of LEDs around the outside. And the big grille, of course, very much that coupe grille. That's the rear view mirror look to it. And when you see this being solid here, all the electronics for adaptive cruise and everything is behind that. So that's rather fun. Beautiful paintwork on the car. You'll see my reflection there. And just a beautifully made car. Let's uh, have a walk around and show you the specification. So size-wise, a bigger car than you would think, I'll tell you. I'll go right to the complete side there. She's 198 inches long, but that wheelbase, 116 inches, is almost 10 feet between the wheels, which gives us that glorious ride that she does have on the air of suspension. Rear end of the car, very beautiful. The little badge here will rotate and the backup camera is under there. So as you go into reverse, that pops forward. But look at that, isn't that a clean looking car? And a bigger car than you think. Again, it's 77 inches wide. 55 inches high. I'll put the weight up here now. So a heavy lump of a car, but it does feel that on the road. And again, that's just a nice feeling of quality that the Mercedes-Benz cars have. I like the chrome accent on the window frame and around the front of the car here. It really highlights these lovely shapes. Let's take a look at the powertrain. All right, so under this very, very heavy hood, we have this amazing looking engine. It's just under 4.7 liter. She's a twin turbo V8 direct injected. This one's just driving the rear wheels through a nine speed automatic. It's actually kind of a dual clutch. It's called the MCT multi-clutch transmission. And it's, it is nine gears, but they're in a straight line. So the clutches are swapping back and forth and moving it back and forth very quickly, but not like a dual clutch that might have two separate shafts. This is all in, in one straight shaft. 449 horsepower here and 516 pounds of torque way way down in the rev range really an amazing powertrain so going into the features here's our seating controls of course where this part will move the the base of the seat forwards and obviously up and down backrest headrest even but not only that in the center console here, amongst all these other buttons, I have a picture, I don't know if you can see it, of a seat. So when I push the seat image up on the screen, I then go, might be the AC, but I then get the image of the seat. Now up the top here, when I twist this little wheel, it allows me to switch from each different option, including massage, look, with different areas and levels, very, very cool. Multi-contour seats, so of course the dynamic, means that these little pads here will inflate as you go into a corner. You turn left and this one inflates to push you from side to side. I can then choose passenger or driver's seat and then pushing it again, it goes back to the previous page, which just happened to be the map. But look how clear this image is. There's a big screen too. I'm guessing it's over 12 inches there, about 11 inches in the main one in front of me but super clear dials that really make the car fun. But of course we're in the convertible. So let's put this top down and see how she looks then. I've got the little button down in the center here. Let's have a look. Got it. So the back, you can't see it now, but the back end behind me is moving. There it goes. Now the part above my head comes up. It's a big top, it's got a four-seater, it's a true four-seater. I could sit behind myself at six feet without any problem at all. One of my favorite features the top has is up here, this little panel will raise. So if you need to have a little bit more sound, or sorry, wind protection, I can just push a button down here and raise that section up. Really very cool how it looks now. And of course the air will pass right underneath that and give you an extra bit of protection in the wind. All right, well, it's time to go down into old Batman's corner here. I got the roof down, so it should be fun. And we should be able to hear that V8 too. All right. Gosh, disguises its size very, very well. 
Might be windy with the top down there, but what an experience. Very, very elegant, I suppose, is the best word. And plenty of power. <laughs> that wind deflector up behind me and the one up there, frankly, keep it very calm. It's not even moving my hair. Amazing. All right, up to speed now and really coming down here hot. Incredibly stable at high speed. Very, very impressive, to be honest. 14.7 inch front rotor. Let's put them pretty hard. Boy, it really scrubs speed very in a very stable way. A little bit of body roll, because of course, he's a heavy car. Nice. Transmission follows you very well. It follows your inputs very well. I've enjoyed the car very much. It's a very elegant feeling in the car. Um, the Bentley Coupe feels more sporty. This would be more like the Rolls-Royce Dawn, I think, as a competitor. That more flowing, elegant ride. An amazing machine. So looking inside, you got those lovely Mercedes-Benz sill plates and the seat, lovely shapes and very cool designs. Neck warmer here in the seat, very cool. Access to the rear, say it's good size. That's set for me there, so good, not bad in the back but a much more comfortable seat than the lower Mercedes-Benz cars might have. Really a lot of padding in the base. These are active bolsters, the dynamic bolsters, really make for a, a nice interior. Very clear backup camera, of course, and we have our 360 view here, which is really good. I can actually see the front of the front tire there. If I turn it away, it'll disappear. That's really cool. <laughs> so again, you're gonna protect your car when you're reversing into spaces. When I then put it back into drive, it flicks then to a front camera. So again, very smart. And then the trajectories, I've got the wheels locked, but the trajectories will show where you're gonna be heading forwards or backwards. So that was the S550 Cabriolet. What a wonderful machine. Knew the car was around 165,000. I say this is a pre-owned car that we've got here now at Dimit, and it'll be on our website very soon. One of the cool options, when you put the convertible top down, if you keep holding the button when it's finished, it will raise this big wind deflector way, way up here. See, part of the Burmester speak is all metal. And again, nicely finished in leather way back here. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. This really is a beautiful car. It gives the sort of, as I mentioned in the video a minute ago, the Rolls Royce type feeling of that glide down the road, whereas the Bentley, much more sporting personality. So perhaps the AMG version of this would be more that way, I suppose. I'll let you have a look at the car one more time. I appreciate you watching the video. Please ask me any questions and post any comments that you have down below. Thanks again.